So we're asked here, we're told that an insurance company charges a 21-year-old male a premium of $500 for a one-year, $100,000 life insurance policy. And a 21-year-old male has a 0.999 probability of living for one year. And this is actually a really common type of problem um, <clears throat> used in the insurance industry. And what we're looking at here is, you know, when an insurance company sells a, a policy, it's looking to make a profit, and the person who's being insured is looking to, you know, pro provide financial security for uh, their family or loved ones uh, in case uh, they pass away. So in the case of this 21-year-old male, um, <clears throat> we're asked here, from his perspective, what are the values of the two different outcomes? Well, what we're looking at here is he's paid $500. And if he lives, then he loses that $500. So the value if he lives is negative $500. The value if he dies, well, he, his family gets a $100,000 payout, but they've already lost the $500 he spent. So if we calculate the difference there, then the value to the family is $99,500. So then we're asked, what is the expected value for a 21-year-old male who buys the insurance? Well, what we're going to look at here is if I open StatCrunch, <laughs> What I'm going to do is I'm going to put the values for the different outcomes uh, in for the first variable. Put that in variable 1 here. So we have negative 500 for the first one. And we have 99,500 for the next one. And then we have the probabilities um, for each of these. <clears throat> when we're finding expected value, the formula for that is the sum of x, the value, times p of x, the probability. Well, the probability that he lives, or the probability he loses $500, is 0.999. The probability he dies, then, is going to equal 1 minus that, or 0 0.001. And so, what we're going to have, then, is we need to find x times p of x. Now, I can use a calculator to do that, and I can find these numbers, but I'm going to actually do it here using data, compute expression, and all I want to do is in column 3, I want to find the first variable, x, times the second variable, p of x. And when I hit compute, I have x times p of x here in this column now. Now if I add these two together, then what I'm going to get is negative $400. <clears throat> and so the expected value is negative $400. In other words, what that means is that this man who bought the life insurance policy expects to lose $400. <clears throat> now, that's not a possible outcome. Either he gets $500 or he loses $100,000. Or sorry, he either sorry loses $500 or gets $100,000. <clears> then we were asked here, what would the cost of the insurance be if the company just breaks even instead of making a profit? Well, here, if the man expects to lose $400, then the insurance company expects to make $400, or $400 of profit. So what, what that means is that even though they're charging $500, $400 of that is their profit. So to break even, if we wanted the expected value to be $0, they would have to charge $400 less than $500. In other words, they would charge $100. Now, why would he want to buy this life insurance policy? Well, why does anybody buy insurance? It's in case something happens that they have money to pay for their expenses. Health insurance, you buy health insurance, not hoping that you're going to get sick, but knowing that if you do, you'll be taken care of. Car insurance, the same way. You hope you never get into a wreck, and you pay out $1,000 a year for insurance, and you hopefully never see anything from that. Now, if you get in a hailstorm or you get in a car wreck or something happens, then you'll get money for it. The same way with life insurance. And so ensuring the financial security of loved ones compensates for the negative expected value.